Welcome to the Green Room, where we deconstruct the themes of your favorite entertainment. In this episode, we explore the psychology of the Batman. So let's get into it. Spoilers ahead. Even the most casual moviegoer knows the origin of Batman at this point. A young Bruce Wayne, while leaving a night of entertainment with his parents, is confronted by a gunman who shoots and kills both of his parents right in front of him, leaving him traumatized, orphaned, and feeling as if the experience is his fault due to inaction from fear. And what's great about Matt Reeves, the Batman, is we don't really rehash this story. We jump right into the second year of Bruce's life as the Batman and how he's dealing or not dealing so well with this trauma. And the thing about early childhood trauma, it can lead to multiple disorders. And I would argue that there's three main disorders that the Batman uh, exhibits during this movie and is done very well. One of these is obsessive compulsive disorder, which is a fixation on uh, details, small details and doing things over and over again. And the way that uh, Bruce as the Batman displays OCD is the way he solves crimes and pursues criminals. He is just very single-minded in this effort to the exclusion of anything else, of caring about anything else, um, not really caring about his parents' legacy or uh, being uh, socially involved or um, even his life as Bruce Wayne because he spends the majority of this movie as the Batman. Matter of fact, he spends almost all of this movie as the Batman except for a couple of scenes which um, he serves, he he is Bruce, but it's Bruce in service of the Batman. And so we really see this OCD uh, expressed in this way and how he pursues these crimes and criminals. Another disorder that I would argue that he manifests is a post-traumatic stress disorder. And the ways that uh, he shows this in the Batman is kind of an emotional numbness and uh, kind of being detached from people and recklessness. Uh, he spends a lot of his time kind of just in this mopey state. And, you know, a lot of people, when they saw the trailer for the Batman coming out and the way he looked, everyone said, oh, we're getting a very um, emo or goth <laughs> Batman, which I thought is uh, very accurate, you know, goth Gotham. Uh, but we're seeing him kind of in this uh, emotionally numb state that a lot of times people attribute to those who considered who, who are considered to be emo or gothic and he kind of uh, uh, puts himself into these situations that show just how truly reckless he's become um, in pursuing these criminals and even um, and, and I mean that in both the overall sense of pursuing crime, trying to solve crime, um, 
whether it's going into a club and starting a club fight, jumping off of buildings and um, gliding through the city and just getting wrecked <laughs> at the end of it. Um, or even in his car, just chasing down the penguin and causing all of this mayhem as he um, single-mindedly pursues the penguin um, on his mis mission. It's extremely reckless and dangerous to not just himself and to other, but to others as well. So he definitely um, shows these kind of PTSD symptoms. And the last disorder I would argue that he manifests is kind of psychopathic tendencies. Um, uh, psychopathic tendencies like being cold uh, to the only person who he has in his life to be like family to him, which is Alfred. He's just very cold and detached from Alfred. And he also exhibits just some antisocial behavior. A uh, great example is his interactions with Catwoman. And even though Catwoman like, you know, turns on the charm and, um, you know, Zoe Kravitz does a wonderful with her Catwoman and it, just any man who can stand in front of Zoe Kravitz Catwoman and not give any kind of uh, expression or feedback or emotion is absolutely antisocial. And then another attribute to this is constantly aggressive. Um, the way he just beats down from the very beginning of the movie the way he wails on these criminals and when he goes into the club and he just wreaks havoc as he's fighting through folks. I mean, this guy is clearly always in a rage. Um, another attribute is just impulsive. And, you know, that goes back to uh, some of the things we we're saying about the PTSD but his, you know, impulsiveness of jumping into situations and uh, just wreaking havoc as he single-mindedly pursues these goals would uh, show that he's absolutely, you know, you can see that in the way uh, these characters look at him from the beginning when he, you know, he says, I am vengeance and he becomes the embodiments of vengeance and the rage he puts into beating down this gang member, this thug. And you can see that uh, he is just in a rage and he is an impulsive. So all of this goes into the trauma of uh, and the psychology, the psychological trauma of the Batman as a character and the Batman as the movie. And Robert Patterson does a excellent job at emoting and showing, um, showing this underlying mental disease, uh, even, you know, with his cape and cowl on through his eyes and his actions and everything else. And it's done very well. Let's end things right there. Thumbs up comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications to get more videos like this. Thank you for listening and take care.